laws. He's right here in this university. In this video I've made, uh, Robach reveals his VIP treatment by Castro in his two trips to Cuba to lecture on nuclear global winter. I just want to know whether you would be interested in this information. Yeah, afterwards we'll take it and we'll take a look. Uh, or you can give it to uh, Joe in the back of the room there and we'll, we'll take a look at it. Okay, Thanks. Thank you, that's all. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, so what, to what extent do you think these powerful forces that drive media coverage are organized? Obviously, you don't, you don't want to risk sounding like a, some conspiracy theorists, but to what extent do you think they organize with each other? Uh, these powerful interests, how are they, how are they yeah. organizing? Um, well, the, uh, the media is, uh, all of these folks work together. I found the best evidence is the White House Correspondents' Dinner, where you have all of these people and government working in tandem. A lot of times, media and journalists and government have to work together because they've become sort of dependent upon their sources. And they, they draw from, from their informants within the government and they can't burn these people. I mean, the nature of what we do, and you just saw it a moment ago when I got served with the federal lawsuit, is people are not willing to take on the powerful because they're afraid of retaliation. They're afraid of burning the people in the sort of network that exists, the swamp as it's called. Um, so it really takes an outsider. And one of the things that, there's this guy, Michael Hastings, he did the story on Stanley McChrystal, and the way he put it was, you really have to sort of be out in the wilderness. You have to be out away from everything, away from the powers that be, and sort of chart your own course. Because you're just gonna, I hate to, this is a, a, uh, not a technical way of putting it, but you're gonna piss a lot of people off. And, and you have to be okay with that. And, uh, and in many ways, you, you're pissing off the right people, but all the right people are kind of in cahoots together. So you have to be in the wilderness, you have to start your own thing, which is what we've done. And what we'll continue to do as long as we can be allowed to do it. Thank you. Hey James, I'm a big fan. Um, I know you mentioned Reddit earlier. Um, I'm, I'm uh, on behalf of the Donald, I guess, which is the only pro-Trump subreddit on Reddit. Um, I, you guys obviously follow it. Do you guys follow it for any leads or anything? Well, I saw you guys put up the uh, video today. Uh, every time we have a video, you put up in red on the top. Yeah. Actually, one thing that the, the, the Reddit sub, is it a sub-thread? Sub, uh, um, yeah, I, the subreddit is subreddit. being censored by Reddit and stifling our subscriber count. And I was wondering if you ever looked into that. We are looking into that. That's a, Silicon Valley is a big subject for us. Um, uh, uh, at, during the election, when we did those videos I showed you on Democracy Partners, we were putting out on Reddit uh, information and they were mining through it, finding leads. So Reddit's a great community, but we are looking at, at how Silicon Valley censors people and um, there's not really much I can say because I don't want to comment on what we're doing, but of course, I wouldn't want you to blow any kind of. But these tech companies have enormous control, enormous power. They're private companies, but they probably they, they may need to be regulated by the government. I don't have a comment on that either. But we're looking into if, if people knew how bad it was and the arbitrary, the sort of capriciousness by which they ban certain people, just like the Daily Targum says, oh no, it was just he didn't, you know, he violated our terms of service. When in reality, it has to do with his ideas. So we're just trying to do the same thing with Silicon Valley and expose the fact that they're, they're doing it for your ideas. When we get that on tape, I think that'll change the institution. Awesome, thank you very much. Keep up the good work, I love will do. Hey James, congrats on your New York Times stuff coming out. 